How's it going? We're under the hood of Rob's revived battery truck, just doing a battery swap. Very uh, interesting vehicle. Zero EM, 30 cents a day, free batteries. I mean, how can you go wrong? One well, thing you got to watch, of course, you don't short anything out. <laughs> or show, show them what I'm doing. High tech, high tech. Uh, there's a high tech procedure. Here. Yeah, high tech procedure. <laughs> Top secret too. Oh, and there's the wife. There's Bonnie. The, Hi, Bonnie. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> here, here, here. Okay, being we don't have a wiring diagram for this thing yet, I'm not taking any chances. I don't know if this is chassis ground or not, so I'm not letting it touch anything. Just saw a little discharge spark, spark there, but didn't let the smoke out. That's a good thing. No, no mushroom, no, no mushroom clouds, eh? No mushroom clouds so far. <laughs> okay, that's done. We're working on a Rob's EV truck. Just gonna wind up my flashlight here, LED. And I'm just gonna go over quickly how this thing's wired up. Oh, of course, it ain't work. What? <laughs> it's too bright out. Okay, basically, right here. These two lines right here, you've got 150 volts. This vehicle DC. runs on 150 volts DC. This is the negative side. This is the positive side. This unit is positive ground. Basically, the positive side goes to the common of the controller, then continues on to the motor. The negative side goes to, I do believe it's called interrupter. Your ignition key is what turns this on and off. Once you contactor? turn contactor, that's it. Okay. Once you turn on your ignition switch, this is energized. Let's the negative side go to the controller, and then that goes. The, the controller controls how much power goes to the motor. Negative side goes to the motor, and uh, that's how it's powered. It's actually a positive floating ground. These two connectors here are your potentiometer, which control basically. There's your throttle control. Basically, the, the controller just reads what the voltage is across here and produces the amount of current for the motor. This here is an on and off. Basically, when the switch, the throttle cable is dropped down to the bottom, it turns the controller completely off. It's an extra safety. So basically, you've got this wire and this contactor producing a safety situation where if you turn off your key, you, you lift your throttle, the controller shuts off, you turn off your key, this contactor shuts off, and that's it. There's a safety here, and that's basically it. The most expensive part is the motor, the down controller. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you've also got a, a 12 volt system, a DC yeah. to DC converter. Can There's the, the motor. Can you put the light towards the motor. Yeah, yeah there you can, can see, see it now. Okay. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. It's like a car stereo amp. If this has not got 12 volt, this thing turns off. Oh, okay. So as soon as you lift, let let off your gas pedal, this thing turns off until okay. you touch it again, mm -hmm. and then it reads. From the potentiometer, is a voltage here that varies with the throttle. Okay. That's its uh, input, I guess you could say. And that's basically it, really. Mm -hmm. um, you got a DC to DC uh, converter that goes from 150 volts DC to 12 to run your accessory battery for your headlights, okay. your wipers, all that. But there's not a lot to it. There's no oil changes. I mean, you got to do your diff and your rear end. Yeah.